Here we have a discrete random variable called y. It has three possible outcomes, and we have the associated probabilities here, so it's a discrete random variable. The first question is very straightforward. Calculate the expected value of y, and what is y minimum? So expected value of y is the sum of all the probabilities times the possible outcomes, so 0 0.3 times 0 plus 0 0.4 times 1 plus 0 0.3 times 2, and the result of this is actually 1. And what about y min? Well, the smallest possible value is a 0. So with that under our belt, we can go to question 2. Now we draw a random sample of two observations with replacement, and we're asked to write down all possible samples and then the probabilities for each of them. So how are we going to do this? We're going to produce a little table and that table will have a column uh, let's label that y1 and y2 to represent the two little y1 little y2 that would be to represent the uh, outcomes then the probabilities of the respective outcome then y bar the sample mean in that particular sample and then also m representing the minimum in that sample. So here we go. What are all the possible outcomes? So the first draw could be a zero and the second could be a zero as well. Then it could be zero one, zero two, that's then one zero, one one, one two and I'll actually have to continue the table on the right-hand side. We'll have the same columns. So the outcomes, the probabilities, the sample mean and the sample minimum. So now we get the possibilities where we have a 2 first, 2 0, 2 1, 2 2. So nine possible outcomes we can have. And what are the probabilities? The first one would be 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.09. Then the second one would be 0 0.3 times 0 0.4, and the third 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 again. And these are the probabilities for these samples. So the next set all start with a 1, and that's the probability 0 0.4. And then we multiply with the probability for the second one, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.3. So here we have probability of 12% here as well, and here's the probability 16%. Lastly, 0.3. 2 and 0 is 0 0.09, 2 and 1, that's a 12% probability, and 2 and 2 is a 9% probability again. So what about this means in these samples? Not half, 1, half, 1, 1.5, 1, 1.5, 1, 1 and 2 are the sample means in the respective samples. Here are the minimums. That should be all pretty straightforward. All right. Now we're being asked to write down the sampling distributions for y bar and for m. So we start with y bar. What are the possible outcomes for y bar? 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 1 and 2. And what's the uh, probability of these respective outcomes? Well, there's only one sample we can draw where the average is zero. That's the first one that has probability of 9%. Then there are two with a 0.5 sample mean, we add the probabilities together. Then there are three where the sample mean is 1, so we add these probabilities together, that will be 0 0.34. And then we again have two where the sample mean is 1.5. These probabilities added is 24% uh, again, and it's a 9% probability that the sample means 2. Altogether, these probabilities add to 1, so it is a probability distribution. And here it is, our sampling distribution for y bar. Now, in the sampling distribution for m, again, we'll check what are the possible outcomes, 0, 1, and 2. Now, we add up the probabilities for all the cases where the minimum is 0, and that is 0 0.51. 0 0.4 for minimum of 1, and there's only one outcome where the minimum is 2, and that has a 9% probability. Okay. Now, with these sampling probabilities under our belt, we can now calculate the expected value of y bar, and that follows our 
normal formula again. It's uh, if it's discrete, it's the sum of the probability of all outcomes times the outcome value. And so that's 9% times 0, 24% times 0.5, 34% times 1, 24% times 1.5, and 9% times 2. And the result of this is 1.0. And that's great, because that's exactly the expected value of y. Okay, 1.0, expected value of y is exactly the expected value of y bar. So that means that y bar, our sample average, is really an unbiased estimator for the population mean. So, what about the expected value of m, the minimum? We know the true minimum is zero. Do we get the same result? Is expected value of m zero as well. We use the same pattern, probability times outcome for all possible outcomes, but what we get is 0.58. That's clearly larger than zero and therefore m, our sample minimum, is a biased estimator for the true population minimum because that is zero. But our the expected value for the sample minimum is 0.58, so it's positive. So it's a biased estimator.